Chinese investment in Africa is soaring, reaching nearly 20 billion last year alone. In China, hundreds of thousands of Africans have come to work. With the expanding trade and investment ties, says political scientist Tang Xiaoyang, it makes sense for China's new leader to reach out to developing countries. It sends a very clear signal that uh, the new Chinese president uh, will continue the uh, policy of uh, like uh, working together with the developing country and showing a clear signal that China is the largest developing country in the world. It's not a part of the developed world. Tang says reaching out to Africa not only helps developing countries, it also helps China and other members of the BRICS grouping. Russia, India, Brazil, and South Africa. Labor-intensive industries, they are being phased out from China. And some of them go to Southeast Asia, but others go to Africa because the labor is there is very cheap and they have the advantage to enter the European and American market without quota. So that's actually a lot of Chinese companies are taking advantage of that. During their meetings in South Africa, BRICS leaders are expected to move forward with the founding of their own development bank. The bank will fund infrastructure development in places such as Africa and give BRICS nations a support network. Economist Yi Shenrong. The aim of the bank is to bring together the experience and resources of all these countries. And create a composite force that can enter the international financial system and give the countries a bigger voice. The bank is also a means of creating an alternative to development aid from the West. They are in the same situation because they are all emerging countries and they met the same difficulty the developed world. They have their rule and World Bank and the IMF, they control the global financial power. Although efforts to raise funding for the bank have been slow, analysts note individual BRICS members have already been extending loans and development aid to Africa for years. And that opportunity continues to beckon. We amide VOA News, Beijing.